Okay. Now we're going to talk about how you would do a really quick refill with a medication that's already been entered into the EHR. If you've sent a prescription already by eSend, it will automatically be put into your current meds tab. And let's say now they're asking for a refill of these medications. Well, it's really easy. It's super fast. Here's how we do it. <clears throat> Let's come over to our test dummy pay patient. So here is test dummy. And we're going to look over at our tabs, demographics, summary, notes, current meds, user defined. So we want to go to the current meds tab. So let's bring my cursor over here. Go to current meds. We're going to find a medication to refill. So let me find one that's one that we'd likely refill. How about the Epiduo? See that Epiduo right there? So if we wanted to refill, see how that prescription was written way back 3 3 2012 well it's no longer valid and let's say the refills have been used up and the patient needs a new refill of epiduo for their acne well <clears throat> it's really simple if we look up at the top here underneath the this yellow allergy bar we can see there are things these little boxes and this box right here on the right is to sign a prescription. You can click on that to sign it. This box right here means to send it at, so far it's selected to e-send it, or you could print it, or you could change what you want to do with it. And then under here, this is the one that's most important that makes it super fast, refill. So if we do this, we can refill medications. If you clicked here, we'd select all of these meds to refill, but I don't want to do that, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to come down a little bit, find my prescription again, Epiduo. There it is, Epiduo. So it's the second one from the bottom, and it's this box right here. So I click it, see how it highlights. I come up here, again, just to double check. That's the refill section. See how it says refill? So I come down. There it is. That's the medication that I decided to refill. I'm going to sign it as well so that I have Epiduo. Let's double check. Epiduo is going to be refilled. Okay, so then we come back to the top, simply check off those two boxes, and then we come over here to the top left and we look for Save Update right here. So if I click on Save Update Changes, there we go. I just refilled the patient's Epiduo. How do I know that? Well, let's look at the date that we have for Epiduo. There it is. See, Epiduo was just e-sent over here. Another way I could check is if I came over here to my folder section, and I came down over here and I looked in my meds tab, and it does it in chronological order. And look at that. I just refilled Epiduo 5-12-2012, signed by me. And there, there I did. I sent it. <laughs> so, and if I click on it, it'll pop over here and you show me exactly what I just sent, like a regular prescription. If I come down here, come down, excuse me, I'll show you what I'm doing. I scroll down, down my prescription, it documents on the bottom 
what happened. It said that, that I saved it today, 6.30 p.m. on a Saturday. I signed it, and I didn't e-send it, though. I could have e-sent it as well. If I wanted to e-send it, <clears throat> I'll show you that tab. So if I did e-send, all I'd have to do is have selected this box right here, down where it says Epiduo. I didn't e-send it because I didn't want it to go. So you'd have to just go sign it, refill it, and click here to e-send it. After you do those three boxes, you come back over here, and you hit Save Update. And when you do that, it shoots it off to the pharmacy, and you have just refilled the patient's prescription. So a little quick tip on how to do a refill of a medication already in the Current Meds tab.